What's going on, guys, and welcome back. We finally got news on the brand new card acquisition system in Marvel Snap, in which Second Dinner is calling this the biggest thing to happen since launch. Guys, we're about to get a hell of a lot more cards. It's no secret that the current acquisition system in Snap at the moment is kind of garbage, and that's putting it lightly. There's a lot of flaws. It's not fun getting, uh, you know, the collection track, the new cards. All of it's just it's terrible. There's a lot to break down with this new system, and I'm going to try to make it as easy to understand as possible and just make it stupid simple. And it all starts with the Spotlight Keshers. So what are Spotlight Keshers? Now, first of all, they're going to unlock after collection level 500, and every single 120 collection levels gained, you're going to get a brand new Spotlight Kesh. Now, in these, you're going to have four different things. You're going to have the brand new card of the week. So let's say it's Spider-Ham. You're going to have two other cards that are predetermined, which we'll find out ahead of time, but these are also pools four and five. So again, you know, Thanos, Galactus, whatever. And then you're going to have one random card that's a series four and five. As a quick side note, at the beginning of the season, there's no brand new card that week, right? So that's going to instead just be an additional series four or five card that they choose. Now, when you open a spotlight, Kesh, you're going to be guaranteed to open one of those three cards or again, a random series four or five card. Now, once you've obtained one of those cards, you're going to no longer have that in the Super Cache, increasing your odds of getting the remaining three cards. Now, as you continue to open these Spotlight Caches throughout the week, uh, let's say you open all four, that means you're going to get the brand new card of the week. You're going to get two of the, the selected ones that we knew prior, and then a random one. Now, let's say you already own one of the cards. I don't know, like Thanos is there and you already have them. Instead of getting Thanos, you're going to be getting a time-exclusive Spotlight variant, right? And these are only obtainable... Uh, through the spotlight caches so you still uh, not only get a really cool cosmetic reward for that uh, you get something right it's not a pixel modok uh, but also you're going to be getting it for that specific card which is also pretty cool that we can target these variants and we have more graphics to look at but what has to be pumped guys is if you're a free to play player that does their daily missions you could be uh, pretty much guaranteed or expect a series four or five card every single week and to make it a lot easier to understand this is going to be what the old system would look like. And we're going to start with if you are pool three incomplete. Let's say you don't have all the pool three cards currently. Now with the old system, on average, you'd get about one pool four card on average. You'd get 4,000 collector tokens, 800 gold and 4,000 credits. And about nine of those pool three cards that you're missing. Now with the new system, you'll be getting three to four pool four and five cards. You're going to get one less pool three cards. So you'll get about eight of those. Now this is going to be a little shocking. We'll get to this in a moment. 400 collector tokens so yes that's a huge decrease but we'll get to that and 4,000 credits now i know you're probably pissed the collector tokens of gold where the hell is it you're probably on your way to the comment sections like cozy you work for second dinner i hate you i get it you can still put that but just we'll get to it in a moment now looking at the other side of things if you have let's say about 50 percent of the cards available at the moment uh, as a free-to-play player you can now expect to get two to three new cards a month uh, one of those spotlight variants for the card that you may be chasing and then a premium mystery variant now i know there's more words to keep track of i'm going to make like a flow chart for this but a premium mystery variant in all this is this is great i love how they admit that pixel suck is not a pixel variant and it could be a rare or super rare variant within the caches here so that's essentially what that is and then finally this isn't going to pertain to a lot of you but if you're like me and you have all the cards in the game uh, one of those is going to be the brand new card. So let's say next week would have been the Spider 2099. You're going to have two of those be spotlight variants for the cards that were selected. Let's say Thanos and Galactus. And then you'll get a uh, random series four and five card, which in this case, we would probably have all of them. And that would result in the premium mystery variant, aka not a pixel. Now I'm going to get to the kind of cons and some other things in a second. But one thing I like a lot is you can hoard these caches and you can hoard as much as you want. So they're going to release the schedule, let's say, at the beginning of the season, which they've already committed to. And it has, let's say, Jeff, Shauna, Galactus, and, uh, you know, the random Series 4 or 5 card. And you really want Galactus. Well, you can just save up your caches. So if you save up four spotlights and you open them all that week, you're guaranteed to get Galactus. Uh, if you open it up just one, you have a one in four chance to get them. If you open up two, you're going to have a one in three chance, three. And then if you do all four, you're guaranteed to get all those cards, right? So Jeff, Galactus, Shauna, I don't even remember my examples, but you get it. So essentially, you're not going to be hoarding the collector tokens as much as you will these like super caches, right? Uh, which really the key to all this is that they're releasing the schedule uh, at the beginning of the month. So you can see exactly which week is going to be like the biggest bang for what you want to try to unlock. Or if you're a person that just like you like the deck you're playing and you just like new cards, Dude, this is like a super win for you. I think you're going to love the system. Uh, and then they say like collector tokens are going to be kind of 
uh, they're way more scarce and they're going to be kind of like uh, serve as a backup. And if this sucks, if this feels bad for any reason, they're going to go back and continue to improve it. They're dedicated to that. Uh, but I do think that this is a very big net positive overall. The negatives. Clearly, there's going to be no more gold in the collection track, and that's going to feel kind of crappy for those that wanted to get the token Tuesdays all the time. Uh, we're going to go through how you get your gold and, and what that's going to look like. But the cards that you probably targeted to use these tokens on, you're, you're going to be able to unlock a lot easier now. So there is that. I am a little bit worried about hoarding as well. Uh, let's say you have like two of the three cards that are in the spotlights. You know, do you bother even opening them? Do you just wait for another week? Uh, did you just go for the variants and the new card? You know, I think they are going to have to kind of tune that up. Uh, there's way less tokens, so you're going to want to kind of hoard these and just make sure you really don't spend them unless you absolutely have to in case of something like, I don't know, high Evo and you want to get them right then and there. And then lastly, like the RNG, right? Now, to be fair, I got to see how this kind of all works out. But what I can tell you is like RNG is RNG, uh, random, right? And so uh, whether it's Danger Room or X-Men Mansion, uh, sometimes let's say high Evo came out and uh, you only open up one spotlight and you get a bam, one in four chance you got them. Uh, other times you may not get them till like the third pole or even sometimes the fourth so it's going to feel really good sometimes and then also really bad but I'm, i am going to put that in the negatives uh, because at the end of the day rng is rng uh, but this is still better randomness than we currently have now uh, i i have to see how this all is going to work out but from every single creator i've talked to everybody that i've been able to look at this this is like a, a big net positive overall now when it comes to gold and these resources that are no longer in this collection track Essentially, guys, uh, you're going to get about 1,100 from missions if you're free to play. You're going to get a season pass, the, the, the free stuff in there. And then you're going to get 500 if you're able to make it to rank 90. And there's plenty of it uh, as well in the reward shop in Conquest. So that's the gold you can get will equal to about one of those token Tuesday deals. So you can still use it for that if that's what you enjoyed, you know, using your gold on. Now, to take that even further, you're going to get about uh, 7,600 tokens a year for free to play if you are Series 3 complete. Uh, about 4,800 tokens if you're not. Uh, and then if you do get the token Tuesdays with the gold and they do stay the same, that's going to be about 20,000 tokens a year uh, as like a super backup to this new spotlight system. All right, guys. So advice time, right? What do you do right now? This doesn't come out for, you know, a few weeks and all the collector caches are going to be converted to the new spotlight caches. So if you're like me, we'll start there and you have all of them uh, or almost all of them. Uh, it's probably best to get as many tokens as you can. They're about to be very scarce. The gold, the credits. I'm going to try to get as many as possible now before the new system comes into place. However, it does depend on what you value. But if you have about like 50% or you still have a lot to go for the new cards, dude, start hoarding now because uh, it's going to be awesome to have a good chunk of these spotlight caches when they come out. Uh, like week one, if they have Jeff and whatever cards, you can just get them right on the dot, right? So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, guys, there's everything I know. I tried my best to digest it and spit it out in a presenting way. And, and hopefully I did a decent job and you guys understand the brand new system coming. Uh, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it or just find an answer for it. Uh, whether I can contact, I don't know. I'm going to try my best to answer everything that I can possibly find through talking to other people. And I can tell you, though, overall, this is a huge net win. And I'm so pumped, man. Right before, hopefully, PC release in, in the next month or two, this is going to feel really good. And I'm just super stoked. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out today. If you haven't and you want to help the 100K journey, we're almost there. Go ahead and subscribe down below. And as always, until the next one, happy snapping.